Hey, what up Long Beach? Welcome back to the 562.org. It's Mike, and this high school girls volleyball video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company, the perfect place to cater your team's next event. Long Beach Poly hosting Milliken, the Jackrabbits recently named number four in CIF Southern Section Division I rankings. Milliken has been a third, fourth place team for a while, but really want to prove themselves this season. We've got the paper plate HVAC going in the Ron Palmer Pavilion, and for Milliken, Mina, Mina, Brahas. The Rams baller put on a real show tonight, displaying some great senior toughness and leadership. She had it all on the outside for the Rams and was playing great defense as well. We've seen a lot more from her. But in the first two sets, it looked like we were headed for a quick sweep. Adonia Faumuina and Naya Cutler with the blocks. And then you're gonna see some backline domination as well as Pearl Tuliao doing a great job back there. Uh, Polly passing well enough to set the middles. That's obviously what they want to do when they can get the ball to Kaya Brown and Riley McGinnis in the middle. They are a really tough team to stop. And that's what they were doing early on against Milliken. They go on to win the first set pretty easily, 25 to 17. On that kill from McGinnis, it looks like it's going to be a quick sweep. This is what we expected. Big swings from the Polly seniors. Ellie Rapeo, Anaya Cutler is going to Washington State on a soccer scholarship. Milliken, though, showing some grit even in the second set. They've got Barajas, who had every kind of hit. She was doing it with touch. She was doing it with fastballs. You've got Oregon and North Carolina in the gym to see Fao Mui Na. So we knew she was going to have a big night. And she was absolutely swinging for the fences when she went up to get the ball. Polly wins set two, 25-15. Ms. Riley, Mac, 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 Riley McGinnis, the super sophomore in the middle, looking good for the Jackrabbits, both offensively and defensively. But the second set was where the third set was where Milliken really dug deep, and it was the revenge of the Rams. Madison Smith, four aces in this set. Barajas with nine kills in the third set, no errors. Pretty much everything she did was going down for Milliken. She wasn't the only Ram balling though. Sydney Roberts with Barajas on the block right there. So Milliken's gonna win the third set with some scrappy play coming back, forcing four. 25-19 Rams, we go to the fourth set. Milliken still trying to stay alive. Kaya goes by ya. Like I said, when Polly's setting the middle, they're really tough to stop. And Cutler is such a big force out there on the right. But Milliken was eager to prove they were not a one-hit wonder. They handle that one and they go back to Barajas she was their go-to. Coach Tan Nguyen said she's been a real senior leader for this team. She's worked hard for the last four years to earn this season. Juliana White gets one to drop for the Rams, just poking it to the back corner where the defense wasn't. And then the beachcomber, Kelly McCombs, with a pair of kills to force the fifth set for Milliken. You can see how much it means to these players. They were here not just to prove that they can play with Polly, but because they wanted to beat the Jackrabbits. Fourth set, much closer than the third set, but Milliken's the one who gets the plays in the end of the set to win it 25 to 23. We go to the fifth. Ba, 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 Barajas, Mean Mina coming out strong again for the Rams. But the Jackrabbits opened up playing really well the same way they did in the first and second. They jumped out to a big 6-1 lead they got some highlight blocks and some highlight kills. And at 6-1, you're thinking, okay, the number four team in Division I might be settling down here and asserting themselves on their home floor. But those crafty Rams, Sydney goes down under the touch shot, gets it to go down. Mina trying to bring them back as well. Milliken would come back and tie this thing at 13 on a 3-1 run. And just look at the way they're fighting and competing on defense. That's what they're gonna have to do against a bigger team like Polly, but that's what they were willing to do. Finally, it's 14-13 match point for Polly. Milliken gets a swing at it here to deuce it, but the Jackrabbits are able to handle it, and Adani is gonna put the ow in Fao Mui Na. Polly holds on to win it in five. Already cannot wait for this rematch in a few weeks at Milliken. Jackrabbits visit Wilson and Milliken visits Lakewood on Tuesday. We'll have coverage of that and everything else Long Beach Volleyball right here at the 562.org.